My guest is Mark Tatum, and he's the Deputy Commissioner of the National Basketball Association. He's here in Springfield for the Basketball Hall of Fame inductions. And so what I was curious about, you guys obviously have to market current players. What is significant that the NBA also likes to be involved in the Hall of Fame? Well, this is the birthplace of basketball, right, in Springfield, Massachusetts. And so this is where the game started. And this is where we, we honor all of the different legends of the game of basketball, not just NBA players, but college players, international players, uh, women players, from, and contributors around the world. And so um, as, a, uh, as, a, you know, as a, the league that we are, we need to support this institution that continues to honor those who have given so much to the game. So we're here at a luncheon, that's what you're seeing behind us, and, and Mark had to do some Q&A, and one of the young ladies asked him a question about women and pay and things like that that he then had to field because, you know, he was on the spot. And, of course, we have a WNBA team in our area. What? Uh, how significant is it that you are able to now, there are women going into the Hall of Fame and what this league has done to perpetuate that? That's right. Teresa Weatherspoon is going into the Hall of Fame this year, and we have a long history of having – WNBA players who have gone into the Hall of Fame. The WNBA is in our 23rd season this year. 23 years that we've been over two decades that we've been promoting women's basketball and women's team sports. And it really is the most successful team sports for women in the entire world. And we'll continue to support our women and put them on the pedestal and the platform that they deserve. So one place you may recognize Mark is from the NBA draft. He gets to come on. He gets to announce the second round picks. How much homework do you have to do for this? I do a lot of homework. I really, really do take it seriously because I get a lot of the international players who have some tricky names, um, but I want to get it right. This is their big night. This is the night that they get told that they're being drafted into the NBA. And so I spend a lot of time studying it, practicing it, listening to how they pronounce their own names in order to get ready for that night. Uh, one of the things Mark gets to do is he gets to do special projects of all kinds with the NBA. He's been to Africa. He's done, obviously, he was a commissioner of the women's of WNBA for a while. So you've got the perspective all the way from they haven't even gotten into the league yet, now to the Hall of Fame when they've retired and are being honored. It's incredible. It's incredible to watch that evolution. I, the one thing that I love about being here and honoring everyone that we're honoring today and in the past is the contributions that they've made to the game of basketball. And what every one of them says is how much basketball gave back to them and allowed them to do. So it's, it's fantastic to be able to see the impact that the game of basketball has had on so many around the world. Pretty amazing. All right, Mark, thank you for joining us. Thank you. With Mark Tatum for the Fort Worth Weekly, I'm Rush Olson.